So they found bombs in my local park. So I hope I don't explode. That being said, we are pre-making a solid of four or so of these videos, and we're probably going to be scheduling these for release throughout the coming week. This script is... Okay, I just realized that this script was written like... When was this written? Like two weeks ago? Yeah, this was back when we were going to do that. But now we're just going to hope I don't explode, and then we're just not going to pre-make videos. Anyway, yeah, let's just ignore that. Point is, I'm probably going to evacuate my house on May 8th, so um, if there's not... If there's no videos past May 8th, then, um, I've exploded. Also, since these videos take quite a lot less time to make, we're pretty much just gonna make a lot of them right now, and then slowly edit them while working on future videos. That- that part- that part of the plan is staying constant. That- that is- that is what we're actually doing. Because, um, yeah, I'd rather not explode. Anyway, um, uh, long intro aside, let's just skip through this, uh, we're planning a new series, it's gonna be basically a quick guide, finding life pods, wreckages, all that stuff, and, um, timestamps, all that stuff, it's in the description, join our Discord, join our Patreon, it's epic, okay, let's go. Now, something very interesting about the penguins is that they are very fitting for Below Zero, and it's not because, well, they're penguins, and it's like Antarctica, no, 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 not that, you foolish little child. It's that its design goes very well with the original design for Below Zero. Alright, so if you haven't noticed, in Below Zero there used to be a design that the concept artists used. It was the Hidden Threats design, just like the Crested Reaper, Squid Shark, and some Shadow Leviathan concept art. The Penguin had the concealed mouth above it. Now you might be asking, where is it? Well, you see that cute little face? Right above it are some horrifying fangs that open up like a beak vertically. The beak also has some bluish-green coloring on the middle, the nostrils are located on either side of the beak, and yes, they are nostrils, as shown in the piece of concept art. They also have four eyes, two large ones and two small ones, and the large ones apparently close when the mouth opens, but I haven't noticed that in-game, but... Maybe I just haven't been hunting penguins as much as usual in this game. Anyways, point is, um, yeah, we'll just trust the concept art on this one. The penguin's body has blue and greenish yellow stripes all around the eyes, arms, and the fur is mainly colored blue. Except for the stomach. The legs are also quite unique, with claws on the bottom to better grip the- uh, Oh my god, my clapboard just fell slightly. You know what? We'll bust it out just for this. The legs are also quite unique, with claws on the bottom to better grip the eyes and a blue coloring. They also conceal a tail, which helps avoid predators, and it's also bioluminescent and detachable. De 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 detachable. Finally. Well, since we're talking about the concept art, we might as well first talk about the pangling. That's right, the baby version. And here it is. It looks about the same, but more chubby, cute, and short. Everything else is the same, including the horrific opening mouth. Also, this is what the eggs look like and we'll cover how you get them in the behavior section. Speaking of this video section, zzz, we need a really good transition between these. I don't have any good ideas, so let's just move on to the scrap design section. Shockingly enough, there's actually quite a lot of concept art for this thing, which seems to be a trend with Below Zero. Uh, maybe that's maybe that's why everything looks so much better in um, this game. Shockingly enough, there's quite a lot of concept for this thing, considering that it's, you know, a penguin. And, you know, this whole, like, lot of concept art thing, it actually seems to be a very recurring trend with Below Zero. Now, the first concept art just looks like this. This looks like the very, 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 very early, and... I mean, I don't know what to even call this. It's just, um... I don't know, I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, maybe it looks cool to some people. To me, it just looks like it wouldn't fit anywhere near 4546B Sector 0. Sector 0. Now, actually, I'm just gonna say this right now. When I was looking at the penguins and the penguins, I found out that that piece of concept art... One second, let me just pull this up on my computer. Actually, this was made by Pat Presley. And Pat Presley, if you don't know, he actually worked... One second, let me just check this. Yeah, he worked on Subnautica. Not Below Zero, but Subnautica. And considering that there was supposed to be an Arctic area in the original Subnautica game... Anyway, there's a very small chance that this version of the Penguin was actually supposed to be in Subnautica. Like, the original one. Not Below Zero, Subnautica 1. The original one. And, uh... I mean, it definitely fits more, but... Still, unless these are like a deep Arctic variant... 
I don't know. Anyways, um, also it looks like there is a male and a female model. Or maybe that's just two different designs for the penguin. I'm honestly not sure how that works. Anyway, point is, um, I I'm honestly not sure about this concept art. It's just really confusing to me. It's not very, I don't know. Anyway, this concept art also showed the baby model, which we haven't really covered much. It looked, um, absolutely horrific, in my opinion. And I'm sorry if you like it, but it really does just look horrific. Anyways, moving on, there was also this piece of concept art, which also seemed very, very early. With only one eye on the side, and, um... Yeah, yeah, I don't know about this thing. It's, it's just, um... With only one eye on either side and two antennae on the front of it, it kind of looks like the sunfish. Anyone else get that sort of vibe from it? Anyway, point is, it looks pancaked. There's also an egg sac on the bottom of its body and two large fins. Then these two pieces of concept art were made, one of which looked like a squid shark, and this one, as you can see, looked like the final design but with some color changes, and then this one, which was a row of differently colored penguins. Now these two look pretty basic, but not this one. It seems like it was much shorter and fatter, and the color scheme was also different, with no white on the bottom of the body or on the stomach. The dorsal fins and mouth were also very different, as well as the tail. But then finally, the design was decided on with three pieces of concept art, which really show off the final design, as well as this one, which was the first time we had seen the finalized pangling design, which is what the babies are called, by the way. Now all of these are pretty much exactly what Unknown Worlds ended up going with, and that's really good because it was honestly the best design. Except for the short Nightmare Mouth one. It'd be really cool if there was like a tribe of those locked off in a cave from all the others. Or like if they exist. Uh, oh my god. That would actually fit so well with the deep arctic biome. Oh my god, I wish they kept it. Oh, now I'm upset, dude. Aw. Uh, anyway, point is, these look a lot more aquatic than land-based. Don't they? Anybody else? Anybody else see that? Anyways, now let's get to the, um... Not the scrap designs, that was just now. Why does it say that? Okay, let's just move on to the behavior. Now, if you've ever wanted a pangling, then this is for you. The penguin and pangling locations. And let's just start off with that for funsies, because who cares about behavior when you could have a funny fat penguin in your aquarium? <laughs> Now on to the actual behavior. So the penguins are usually found living above water in small groups of multiple adults and children. You won't usually find many children alone, but it does happen sometimes. The penguins spend about half their life underwater and half of their life on land. They can survive exclusively underwater, like in aquariums, but maybe that's just the babies. The penguins and penglings can also be found in locations like the Arctic kelp forest, Delta Island, East and West Arctic, Sparse Arctic, Shell Twisty Bridges, man that's a lot of locations, and the Glacial Basin. The penguins also tend to hunt small fish like boomerangs, as shown in the trailer. The very first trailer, not the new trailer. The new trailer looks pretty cool by the way, I really like it. And as seen in the game. And then they regurgitate it to their young, as again shown in the very early trailer. The penguins also have some more cool stuff that they do, like in blizzards, they'll huddle around their penguins to keep them warm. And during electrical storms, the penguins and penguins jump underwater to avoid the surface until it's safe. The penguins also tend to stretch their wings before diving into the water, as well as waddling around on their ice bricks for some time before diving under. And if you throw a snowball at them, then they shake their snow off. It looks really funny. You can also feed them fish by holding it in your hand. But the penguins aren't as cute as cuddly as they seem, as the PDA points out, because they're very defensive of their penguins. And if you pick one up, then every adult in close proximity will immediately start charging at you. Well, I say charging, but it's more like slowly waddling. And they deal about 3 to 30 damage to you if they bite you. Eh, it's, it's really not that. Really not that dangerous, but... I mean, still look out for it. Also, don't kidnap penguins and steal eggs. It's much safer and less destructive to the penguin ecosystem than if you just run in and steal 10 penguins and then run off. Alright, this is the fourth time I'm re-recording this outro. Point is, I was gonna go on about this, the spy pangling, but I don't have time, and it probably warrants a video on its own. Next video is gonna be either Sea Dragon, Spy Pangling, or, or Warper. Make sure to join our Discord, Patreon, all that stuff. Subscribe if you enjoyed, like, comment anything I missed, and, um... 
Well, we hope to see you next time.